Hi, this is Gertjan. In this screencast I want to very quickly show you a really cool feature on NetBeans IDE that's kind of hidden. It's a new feature on NetBeans IDE 7.4. I'll just start by setting up a Twitter bootstrap application that uses jQuery and I'll click finish. Here's the application that's been created for us. We can immediately begin using it. You can see that as we would expect with Twitter bootstrap we have some CSS and some jQuery. So let's register those inside of our HTML file. So we have a style sheet. And we also have some JavaScript. JavaScript. So let's just remove these comments at the top to create some space and start using Twitter Bootstrap. So we have a div that has container and we'll have um, another div and this one has a navbar and this one is navbar inner. Next up, we have a div that has container again, and we'll add a an ordered list that has class equals nav, and then a couple of links, um, something, and this will maybe be. Um, the home link and then a projects link and the services link and so on. So this will be our navigation bar at the top of the page. So let's try this out. So I'm going to deploy to Chrome with NetBeans connector. Okay, here we are. The page is loaded. We see our navigation bar at the top. We can say inspect your NetBeans mode and click from here into the into back into NetBeans. And this is not news really. It's cool, but it's not news. What is news is that let's switch out of this and let's switch into the Chrome developer tools. Here we go. We see the Chrome developer tools and okay, so you can see here the body um, we can see the font size, right? Font size is right now for 14. Let's change that from 14 to 40. Now immediately, of course, we can see the change as we would expect in Chrome. However, if we go to the history of Bootstrap CSS, so here is Bootstrap CSS. If we go to its history, we see that a change has been made. And here you can see it's gone from 14 to 40. So now let's make another change. So instead of 40, we want this to be 60. So even larger. Immediately, of course, we can see the update in the browser. But back in the IDE, we see another change from 40 to 60. So the point is, when you make a change in the Chrome developer tools, NetBeans IDE is notified and the changes you've made are applied to the file that defines what you see inside Chrome Developer Tools. I'll change the line height to something different. And again, there is a change. I switch to it and I can see the line height has changed from 20 to 40. In other words, the point of the screencast is to show that there is deep integration between Chrome and NetBeans. Any change you make via the Chrome developer tools is reflected back in your files inside NetBeans IDE. Thanks and have fun with Chrome developer tool integration with NetBeans.